Hello, this is Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. This video is for Jason in New Hampshire. Okay, Jason, so as you can see, your unit, this is your 96 S320 throttle actuator. So this repair is being tested now. I'm just going to leave it like this for a few hours. Then I'm going to <clears throat> put it in the freezer. And then um, after it's out the freezer, I'll energize it again. So basically, the idea here is that can remove that you can activate it by hand as you see works nice there's no problems no no shut out no nothing no shut down it's all good looking I uh, just put it on that little this little motor just spins it just as you can see it just spins so I can I don't have to do it by hand I'm just gonna have the motor do the job so let it turn it's gonna sit like that, it's gonna go on and off for hours and after we're finished that um, I'm perfectly confident that it does work and it passed a few hours on this little motor then and after the freezer test of course then I'm going to mail it back now in terms of what was wrong with it we can do I don't want it to go too fast something like this so let it spin. Now I want to show you what's what's going on in your unit. So um, as you diagnosed it, the coil was bad. So this is the coil that you had in, in your car. And that surprises me because as you know that your unit was already rebuilt by another company at some time ago. But it appears that it's not the original unit to the vehicle because they gave a core to you it appears. Because this particular coil, I never really seen these in 96s. These are more like 93, 92 even coils because they have these labels. On newer coils, 95 and stuff, you see them without any kind of markings. So this is a newer style coil. Another thing is, <coughs> polarity is different. As you can see, red, blue, and blue, red. <clears throat> um, rather I would say blue red red blue so this older coil the, the wires come out differently so I checked out if I could repair it but I, I couldn't do it I really could but it's just gonna not gonna be making financial sense because I have to rewind it the problem is the the wire broke inside so I have to open the case it's just not worth it it's easier to rewind the coil make a new one so in this case I just put in another used coil this is another bad coil with the same problem newer style coil, but the windings are broken somewhere inside So I'm not going there So these coils are no good. So your coil is um, Is an older style, but obviously it it failed now Another problem the unit inside was very rusty. So on the motor side This is how it looked pretty disturbing it's, it's like a chunk of rust here all the parts inside that made out of metal they were rusty aluminum parts they were just oxidated so um, I didn't want to clean this one so I just put another one in it took me a few hours actually to clean unit thoroughly with some wire brush wheels and you know sandpaper and solvents compressed air you know you name it I've you know there's some different types of brushes so I did it <clears throat> now it's another one so now the unit is completely cleaned inside very nice lubricated gears are cleaned lubricated so that's all good and put some of the white lithium grease on the shafts and stuff so that's all good to go and I was really scared about potentiometer but potentiometer was spotless so that's a really really good thing it was clean it doesn't seem like it was overheated there is not there's lots of life left on the little brushes you know the little sliders like these little things that's inside your unit as well so these are I would say three quarters life out so maybe one one quarter life left on these yours differently half life I did look inside potentiometer so it is not cracked so that's another good thing so the unit is pretty good <clears throat> So um, this is basically all. So that's cleaned up. I just installed another uh, coil holder, clean up everything, the whole casing, flush the motor. 
so it's nice and clean with no residue. Put everything back together, put a used coil in, open up potentiometer, clean inside potentiometer, clean on the outside, blow it all out, uh, grind out all the oxidation and um, basically that was the end of it. So as you can see it works and I really have no problems with this unit, I mean I like it. It's actually, well, beside the rust, it cleaned up well, so as you can see it's pretty nice, shiny. Sometimes oxidation cannot be removed, but this one came out nice. So, <clears throat> basically this is it. Tomorrow, I'm going to test it out the freezer. I'll put it in the freezer. Probably, actually I'll put it in the freezer now for a few hours. Get it down to 32 Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to put it back on the bench. And let it sit on the bench just like this. Open it and close it overnight. And we'll see what happens, but it should be okay. Usually it passes just fine. Alright, so this is basically all. And um, I'll give you a call tomorrow. I'll upload this video so you can see it. I'll send you an email. Now, don't mind the motor slowing down. I just made this today, actually, because I never had this. This motor is a little dry. So, um, you know, it's not the actual throttle, but it's my motor. Because this is not the best motor. I just just throw it on there real quick the first one I found this is the motor out the throttle body also by the way the bearings are shot on this one and um, the case is deformed so that's why I cannot sell it I'm just gonna use it all right so this is basically all this is victor at thestorymercedes.com thank you for watching